Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I am one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. I am back to do this week's new release Tuesday video where I talk about books that are coming out on Tuesday, July 24th. So the first book that I have for you guys is Record of a Space Born Few by Becky Chambers. This is the third book in the Wayfarer series. The first book in the series was A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, which a lot of people, including myself, really adored. And this is, again, the third book in the series. Hundreds of years ago, the last humans on Earth boarded the Exodus fleet in search of a new home among the stars. After centuries spent wandering the empty space, their descendants were eventually accepted by the well-established species that govern the Milky Way. But that was long ago. Today, the Exodus fleet is a living relic, the birthplace of many, yet few outsiders have ever been there. While the Exodans take great pride in their society and their traditions, their culture has been influenced by others outside of their bulkhead. As many Exodians leave for alien cities or terrestrial colonies, those who remain are left to ponder their own lives and futures. What is the purpose of a ship that has reached their destination? What is the price of sustaining their carefully balanced life? And is it worth saving at all? So again, like I said, this is the third book in the Wayfarer series. And while these aren't like direct sequels to each other, you do need to read them in order. You're not necessarily always following like the same cast of characters, but they do sort of like play off each other. And I think that if you read them in series order, it's better. So if you haven't read the first two yet, I do recommend it. Uh, even if you're someone who doesn't think they like science fiction books, I think that this is a good crossover book. But if you have read the first two and have been highly anticipating the third, Record of a Spaceborn Few is out today. So next up, I have a book that is out now in physical form, which was originally only available as an ebook, or I believe possibly also as an audiobook, but definitely only in digital form. And that is the Binti series by Nandia Korafor. The first book is called Binti, the second book is called Binti Home, and the third book is called Binti the Night Masquerade. These are three novellas that have now been published in physical form, and they are published in three separate books as well. So if you are someone who has been wanting to read this series but you don't own an e-reader, um, or if you've read them already and you really enjoyed them and you want a physical copy for yourself, you can and pick that up today. So in this story you are following this character named Binti who is the first person from her village to get accepted in this highly esteemed university in space. But accepting this offer means that she is going to have to leave her family and her culture behind because she is traveling with people who don't really respect her or her culture. And so at least in the first book in the series it's partially about Binti traveling to university and trying to figure out how to navigate this awkward situation of the people around her not respecting her and other people not thinking that she's maybe good enough to be there because again she's the first person from her culture to be accepted into this university. Um, but then the story sort of evolves as the series continues and yeah it's just really really well done novella series. So again if you have been waiting to pick these up because you don't have an e-reader or if you just loved it enough to want a physical copy Binti by Nandia Korfor is out now. All right next up I have Contagion by Aaron Bowman. After receiving a distress call from a drill team on a distant planet, a skeleton crew is sent into deep space base in order to do a basic search and rescue mission. When they arrive, they find the planet littered with the remains of the project, including the members of the team. As they try to piece together what could have decimated the entire project, they discover that some things are best left buried and some monsters are only too ready to be awakened. So this book is being described as perfect for horror fans, especially if you're a fan of movies like 28 Days Later or Resident Evil. And this is actually the first book in a duology. So if you are a fan of that sort of horror science fiction blend of things, then you can pick up Contagion by Aaron Bowman. All right, the next book that I have is Ghosted by Rosie Walsh. When Sarah meets Eddie, they connect instantly and fall in love. To Sarah, it seems as if her life has finally begun. And it's mutual. It seems as if Eddie has been waiting for her too. Sarah has never been so sure of anything. So when Eddie leaves for a long booked vacation and promises to call from the airport, she has no reasons to doubt him. But 
he doesn't call. Sarah's friends all tell her to just forget about him, but she can't. She thinks that something must have happened to him. Days and weeks go by and Sarah gets increasingly worried, but then she discovers that she's right. There is a reason for Eddie's disappearance and it's the one thing that they didn't share with each other, the truth. So if you are a fan of love stories, of domestic dramas, um, Leanne Moriarty has blurbed this book and she this book has also gotten comparisons to her types of books as well, then you can pick up Ghosted by Rosie Walsh. Next I have Now My Heart is Full by Laura June and this is a memoir. Laura June's daughter Zelda was only a few moments old when she looked into her eyes and thought, I wish my mother was here. It wasn't a thought that Laura was used to having. Laura was in the second grade when she realized that her mother was an alcoholic. As the years went by, she spiraled deeper and by the time she passed away soon before Zelda's birth, uh, the two were completely disconnected. And so in this memoir, Laura June is exploring how raising her own daughter has forced her to confront this tragedy and recognize the connective tissues that bind generations of women together. She shows how even a generation later, we still don't have the language to discuss the change that women undergo when they end up becoming parents. And she finds out that she has more in common with her mother than she may have ever known. And again, that's Now My Heart is Full by Laura June. And the final book that I have for you guys is a short story collection and that is called How to Love a Jamaican by Alexia Arthurs. Tenderness and cruelty, loyalty and betrayal, ambition and regret. Alexia Arthurs navigates these tensions in her debut short story collection about Jamaican immigrants and their families. Sweeping from close-knit island communities to the streets of New York City and Midwestern university cities, this book is filled with 11 stories that form a portrait of a nation, a people, and a way of life. This was listed on Entertainment Weekly's like Hot Summer Books of 2018, as well as BuzzFeed's like Summer Reads list, and it even has a blurb from Zadie Smith. So if you enjoy literary short story collections, then you can pick up How to Love a Jamaican. So those are all of the books that I have for you guys for this video. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you plan on picking up this Tuesday, whether it's a book here or another book that I didn't mention in this video. Otherwise, I will see you guys again next Tuesday with another new release video. Bye!